Good early morning everybody. So today I am going to show you the last three kits I got from VIP Cross Stitch with the money um, I had won from Amanda's Crafty Corner and her giveaway. Um, it's only three more kits as I had said before and I figured before I do my own VIP cross stitch haul. I finished showing you guys what she had sent me and yes I am talking a little bit more quietly right now. I am using a ring light so I'm sorry about any weird shadows. It's early in the morning here and my son is still sleeping. My foot really hurts so I'm just kind of doing something to distract myself while I can. I'm going to start with this one. Yep, I'm going to go smallest to largest with what's left. So I know we've all seen these before. Um, I also want the winter one, but I haven't been able to grab it yet. It is a 14 count at 15 by 33 centimeters, and it's just called Summer. The reason I got this one is... Oops. Look at the cows, cute little moo moos, and then the sunflowers. Of course I had to get it. And green is mine and my mother's favorite colors. Or I love all colors, but green is a nice color to look at. You have to agree with me there. So every single Joy Sunday pack for the three kits I'm going to go through has the instructions including how to get your strands and how to read it and then just your basic stitches. Tray Sunday comes in resealable bags and they are not waterproof because they have holes. Uh oh. So because this is taller than it is wide, it looks like it's just kind of flipped. So it looks like we have 18 colors. I believe that's half stitch, so four and a half stitch, and two and back stitch. And this will be page one of your pattern. They come on glossy paper, always perfect, and you can see the back stitching. And page two, which is the bottom half. The symbols on Joy Sunday, the symbols on this, on the paper patterns for all of these kits, so I don't have to keep saying it. The symbols here do not match the symbols on your, um, on your fabric. Threads out the way. This way. So, as I mentioned, it's just a cute little snack size. The printing is a lot of very similar colors on this, but look at that color blocking. Again, I don't really know why they put the back stitching on here because I like to wash my canvas completely when I'm done stitching and then go do my back stitch. And I was right, that is the symbol they use for um, half stitch. So there are gonna be half stitches in here. Um, let me see if I can find where those are. Or is that what the background is? Oh, that's all up here, okay. I thought these were X's because of how they look clustered together. 
some of the symbols are kind of fuzzy to look at on this one but where there's so few I don't think I will mix them up because I can already tell what's what. Surged nicely. And it's a good feeling fabric too. It feels like decent quality or good quality. And the threads. And that's 1 through 15. And then 16, 17, and 18. Which are going to be super cute sunflower colors. And since it's not so big, we don't have a lot. And with Joy Sunday, you get... Is it two? Yeah, okay. I wasn't sure if I got both of them this time. You usually get two needles stapled to your thread card. And your thread card gives you the number in the color of the thread. And they also give you the DMC above that. And then the red number above that is how many strands. It's funny to me that some say 0.5. It looks like the highest number of strands you get for any given color in this kit is 3. For this kit, I had paid three thirty six, and it is fifteen by thirty three centimeters. Once again, the next one is Winter Forest Spirit, and um, this does come in a series. They have Autumn, Spring, and Summer. I believe I have another one of these coming. I could be lying to you, I'm not 100% sure. Um, it's an upcoming collaboration. I have several that are pending, and I just don't really keep track of what I decided to review versus what I decided against, so. But, but these ones are paid for, just to be, make sure we're all on the same page. These were paid for, these were not sent for review. And Amanda paid for these. And I will be linking her um, YouTube below and trying to tag her and all that fun stuff. So this one is also 14 count and it, it is, wow, English. Told you guys it was early. This one is 22 by 34 centimeters. And this is just such a cute image because you've got different types of feathers. You've got this pine cone, I think these are even blueberries, and just like cute snowflakes everywhere, the deer, and then you got antlers coming up the side, and then some pine trees. I don't know, I live in Maine, so to me this photo represents my home state, mostly because the just everything, actually. The pine cones, the pine trees, the deer, the blue jay feathers, blueberries. It's just super cute. So this time the pattern looks like it came in a booklet. Well, this picture is even bigger than what's on the front. And I love that Joy Sunday shows you what it's going to look like with the stitching as well. And I can already see that there's half stitching in here. Ooh, that was a terrible sound. Oh, oh what am I doing? So the highest number I see here is 28. So 28 colors. 28 of those are in full stitch. Four of those are in half stitch. And three of those are in backstitch. It's nice that this one's connected so you can fold it out. Um, you can see this is page one, and down here is page two. Very clear and easy to read. Very minimal backstitching as well, so if you're new to backstitch and want to practice, this is a good kit for that. And again, the symbols on the paper pattern will not match the symbols on your canvas. 
So despite that pattern being absolutely huge, which makes it readable, this is also kind of a snack size. And since it's a partial, this probably has even less workable stitches than the last kit, which I personally love. I will never complain. I need more small kits to do because I kind of like instant gratification. I am a product crafter, not a process crafter, so. Legend is readable, at least to me here in person, and it does go up the side a bit as well. And then half stitches always look like this on Joy Sundays. And then your back stitches, which again, I don't know why they included that. So even though, come on, even though this is busier than the last pattern, I think it's easier to read just because the repetition kind of hurts my eyes to look at and there's a lot more contrast in the printing on this one. Again, it's surged, the quality is great, like the fabric feels good. And it is also labeled up here, so in case you can't tell what you're looking at and you're still working on it, you know which bag to return it to. So again, not a whole lot of colors. I mean, 28's like a decent amount, don't get me wrong, but I mean like in bulk wise because the image is small. And then this like yellowy gold color. And again, they label everything up here for you. Sorry, I forgot I zoomed in. Got my two needles. I think this one, let me grab it. I think this one's a really cute color. But it's just a very adorable, subtle winter image. I could not pass it up. Just get that ready to get put back away. I want great stuff like that. I'll figure it out. <laughs> and for, let me zoom back out since I seem to be forgetting that I'm zoomed in. For this image, I have paid $3.47. And again, I didn't pay Amanda, I actually paid. Well, I think I paid for one because I paid a little over what she had sent me per terms of the giveaway. So this one cost $3.47. So this last one, I think I may have been the most excited for. It's called Angel, oops, oh, sorry, Angel One. It is 14 count and it's 56 by 50 centimeters. So almost a square, but not quite. I just thought this was so beautiful. And they do have other versions, or um, they have more of these, but they're like different angels and in different styles. There's a few more I'd consider getting, but definitely all of them are not going to be to my preference. But this one was my favorite. I can even fit the booklet out. Okay. So, as I said, it's a booklet. And they divide the pages for you, which I love because it just makes it easier for you to follow along. And you can see that they divided this one into six pages. 
the highest number I'm seeing up here is 36. So there are 36 colors. 31 of those are in full stitch. Six of those are in French knots. And I'm pretty sure this image is going to have a ton of French knots. And um, they should have come with beads. And then five back stitching colors. Ooh. All right, so right away when we're opening up, we've got pages one and two. Super easy to read, big enough to read. A little bit of back stitching. Oh, I love that they're putting it in order. They don't usually do that. So page three and four. That is so amazing to me. I don't think I have a single Joy Sunday where the booklets are actually like stuck together booklets and the pages are in order. I love this. <laughs> page five. And page six. And yeah. All those French knots. Hold on, I'm trying to do this without covering the light. They're just all over this image. So definitely not a beginner friendly pattern or not friendly if you hate French knots. So again, this is 56 by 50 centimeters. Uh, I don't know what that is. There's a piece of thread on it. Come on. Ooh. I don't really have nails to craft things and I have it sideways. So this isn't all gonna fit on my camera. Here's the bottom. And you can see how big this is, but I still absolutely adore it. Legend is huge, so it's very easy to read, including over here. And then the back stitching part doesn't really matter to me. And the canvas does tell you, um, all the Joy Sunday canvases tell you this, I forgot to mention that. Um, they tell you how many stitches each way. So it's 266 stitches wide by 232 stitches high. That is a lot of stitches, but it is a partial. Super beautiful. I really wish they would keep the French knots off of the canvas because they tend to cover, um, if, if there's enough of them clustered together, they tend to cover the stitching or the symbols of the stitches that you need to do underneath. And that's just a little bit frustrating. Sorry. There's a little piece there too. I don't know where those little threads came from. But I'm absolutely excited about this. Um, the really only places I'm seeing confetti is in this garland that she's holding. And it sucks that it's also sprinkled with French knots because I'm not going to be able to see jack squat. So I'm probably just not going to stitch anything that has a French knot slapped over it and just put the French knot down because I'm not going to struggle because then I'm not going to like stitching it. And there's still threads on here. Alright, I don't even remember how this clip's folded. Such beautiful printing though, very clear. And 
And then the colors, of course, are going to be pinks, golds, and greens. It came on two cards, and we have our needles. Looks like they had a lot of 15, so they put what um, they couldn't fit in the first circle here. And I noticed that a lot of us are in the habit of saying, like when we have the hanks, oh, well, they gave us extra, this is an extra hank of. It's not extra, it's just what didn't fit on the card, and I feel like calling it extra may be misleading to somebody that's new to cross stitch. So I'm letting you guys know, it's not extra, you will need it, please do not lose it, do not give it away, do not store it. It's not extra, that's just kind of what we say when it's on the side, but I promise you, they're not extra. But they do give you extra, it's just that whole hank is not extra. So we'll look at 15 more when we get back to it. It's like red, yellow, green, blues, and whites. And that's from the second card, and I'm not going to separate these. Uh, I will try and move this one out the way. More greens, golds, shades of pinks, and a little brown hiding in there. And then on the bottom, more pinks and gold shades, a little bit of blues, and just more bronze and gold. And this would be a perfect image to incorporate my big spool of gold thread with, just to kind of make everything shine a little bit more. Or I could just use my greens from the metallic threads I just bought and do it in here and make it like a shiny garland. But I'm not sure yet. I'll, I'll figure it out when I get to it. Just wiggle these out. Lots of nice colors, pinks and greens. How I decorate my home. So this is definitely an image I would put on my wall and I honestly probably will replace the French knots with seed beads as I go because I have quite a few that I have from back when I beaded bracelets or made like mini beaded fruits like 3d beading and I don't oh so sorry and I don't really do that anymore but I don't like having unused craft supplies just like I have the setup to tuft a rug my rug punching gun is also pink because I couldn't find a green one and I want to punch a rug soon, at least another one. I've already punched one, but since it was my first, it wasn't the greatest. But I'm trying to pull inspiration from one of my cross stitches, because I think it would be fun, super cute. These threads keep coming out of nowhere. Like, where are you coming from? Like the edges are surged and I don't see fraying, but for some reason this one kit and I don't know why I wrapped it like that. Okay, well, while I unwrap this, thank you guys for watching. That was the final three kits I had had. Thank you again, Amanda. Thank you so much. I am very happy with all of the kits that I have found. I'm very happy I got as many as I did again. Or not again, but repeating from the last video, I'm very happy I got as many as I did for the price. And I don't think I could mimic a purchase like this again for the same price. Ooh. Okay, I'm just trying to tidy up. Alright, so if you guys don't follow Amanda's Crafty Corner yet, you definitely should be. Uh, again, I will link her below. Give her a follow. Go like all of her videos and she does do lives she's honestly just genuinely such a great person and i'm really happy to have met her on here uh, she also has an instagram where she posts what she's working on as well i will go steal that link from her page 
I will post that down in the description box below as well. And before I go on too much and forget, this kit was $12.41, so this definitely was the kit that I got with the money because this was the most expensive one out of all of them. But I really did want it and it's beautiful. So all of these will also be linked down below if they're still for sale. Amanda will be linked down below and so will her Instagram. And I highly recommend you go follow all of that. And I do have a discount code for VIP cross stitch which will also be down in the description box below. And I have one for one day saving as well, just in case you guys want to use that because this is not a video of a PR package. So I'm just gonna throw everything I have below in the description for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Give the video a like if you liked it. Leave a comment, tell me what you think. And then make sure to go check out Amanda. I hope you guys all have an amazing day. And I'm so sorry again for the lighting and filming this so darn early. <laughs> Bye guys. See you in the next one.